You know, sometimes Christmas doesn't go our way. For example, for my personal life, I asked for my dad back on Christmas and my mom kicked me out of the house. So let's move on to the Christmas dinner, aka the whole meat of this video, and it's this Christmas reward server that I actually found on Discord. I had to do a little bit of searching, but basically it's a normal invite reward server. Of course, all these are always scams. However, when I keep searching down on the channel, you wouldn't believe what I see. At everyone. I'll leak my Nitro method once server reaches 200 members. At everyone. 20 reactions equals Nitro method leaked. Of course, am I going to get down on the deep scoop of generating free Discord Nitro? Well, I mean, if you've watched our chain's video on the topic, you already know what the answer is going to be, and I'll have that linked in the description. But we got this beautiful replit page of this Nitro generator checker V4C threaded Oh my goodness, it's crazy, and they're telling us to fork it and run it. So I look at this code, and let me tell you, let's just avoid the code for a second. Let's look at the comments. Skittlechan12 says, Yo, I found a base a Nitro Basic Gen 9000... <laughs> I can't even read right now because this is so stupid. Is this real? By Skittlechan, the same person. And the replies are, Wow, it's fast. Who else came here from Christmas Rewards, by the way? <laughs> Which is the server that I'm on. And finally, running it. Wish me luck. This is obviously some fake comments that the person made. It's just an alt account to the person that made this bot. If they even made it themselves, they probably didn't and just stole it off GitHub or something. But looking at the Python code, whenever you're trying to run any sort of code on the internet, you should be able to read and understand what's going on. But this code just keeps on spamming V4C gen is the best gen as it utilizes threading, quickening the process by 22.4 times. It wasn't just 20 times, it's 22.4. So I did what any sane human being would do, and I stuck it into Notepad. Now, I'm a Notepad Fiend. I love this thing, and look how garbage this code is. To filter it out, this this is the whole point of the video. I'm going to show you how I filter through this code and make it so I can understand what the heck is going on. So to start off, we have a whole bunch of comments that are just filling up basically the whole entire thing. Sometimes we get a little bit of code, but it's very hit or miss. And the best way to deal with this is we're using Notepad++ plus kind of bookmark feature. So we want to go to mark, and we just want to search for hashtag because that's how Python comments are. You have hashtag and a comment, and then hashtag and a comment, and that's what they've done for this whole entire code. We are going to mark every single line that has this comment. Then what I'm going to do is go to search, bookmark, and I'm going to remove bookmarked lines. Now my computer's a little drunk, so it took a while, but now we actually get some sort of code. You know, we get some import random string request from D hooks, import web hooks, so that, that's a little bit of a teaser on what's going on. But we have a couple of imports, and then we have magic, love, God, destiny, and joy, and a whole bunch of just random things that make no sense. So what I usually do is I just copy all this garbage, and I go to this website called JavaScript Beautify. Now, of course, this isn't JavaScript. This whole code is Python, but the whole reason why I'm using the website is because it has all these unescaped printable characters, which I'm just too lazy to, to translate. So what I do is I just paste in the code, I make sure this bad boy is enabled, I beautify the code, and kaboom! Now, all the random lines that we had before with eval, slash, slash, they turned into text. So I'm going to copy all this code, I'm going to minimize this bad boy, get rid of this garbage, and now when I paste it in, you notice, hey, we actually have something we can work with. We have trust equals eval magic eval codex decode, and the important thing that I see right now is that we have some sort of encoding through love and joy. But what the heck is love and joy? Well, joy is rot13, which is some sort of encoding computer thing, and love is just a whole chunk of random text. So of course, I'm going to figure out what this is. So I go to another website. Now I'm going to have it split on both sides of my screen. A little information dense. Forgive me, right? Grandma viewers, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to listen to what I'm saying. But basically what we're going to do is for this one, we are actually going to decode the love string with rot13, which is joy. So I'm going to go to love, copy this whole entire thing, paste it into this bad boy. And now we get this chunk of text. So I'm going to copy this chunk of text, replace it with love, so now we have it decoded. And in this, I am just going to remove the decode command so I can just keep track of what the heck I'm doing because my brain barely works most of the time, especially right now. You know, technically in the future, the time this video comes out, I am, I'm probably extremely hungover. Now we're going to do the same thing with the, the string destiny because of course destiny is encoded with joy, which is rot13. And I keep track of my progress by just removing this decode because I've already decoded it using the website. And now we actually have something we can slightly work with. If I open up notepad all the way, we have trust equals eval magic plus love plus God plus destiny. So that means if we just combine all those together, all these random strings, we should get trust. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do magic is the first one. I'm going to copy it. I'm just going to make a new line. So trust 
equals, and I'm gonna do in quotes, we paste the first chunk of text. Then instead of doing the plus sign, we're just going to add it right after. It's like concatenating text, which is just putting two text things together. Now I'm going to rinse and repeat. We added all these together. We can get rid of that previous line. And now we have this big chunk of text called trust. Now, if we scroll down to the last line, basically what's going on is that we're using base64 to decode trust. So let's do that. Let's copy this massive chunk of text that I just made that literally makes zero sense. And this is the most satisfying part of the whole thing. It's either satisfying or you messed up somewhere and you start kind of freaking out a little bit. But I go to this website, base64 decode and encode. I paste in all this base64, I decode and kaboom satisfying. We finally get the raw code that we can look at that explains what's going on. So I copy this bad boy. I go back to notepad. I can clear all this garbage out because what's happening is that it's just running the trust string, which is all that code. So delete, paste in the code, and kaboom, look at this V4C generator. We have finally deobfuscated this really poorly obfuscated code. And let me make it clear. What I did was extremely easy. This isn't anything crazy. This is like little Timmy's first deobfuscation lesson, which is kind of the reason why I'm showing you it because at least if you find it interesting you might get used to this and you might start doing it because it's fun but anyways let's look at the code basically what happens is they have some sort of webhook now this webhook doesn't work anymore so you guys don't have to worry about spamming it it just it doesn't work okay but anyways i'm gonna like gloss through this code because no one likes to watch a video where i just read out code god boring geez basically when you start running the program it sends a message to the webhook saying oh v4c booted up by some random these guys are just calling you some randoms that's not very nice. That's not kind at all. That's not in the Christmas spirit they're trying to promote. But now it says, how many codes do you want to generate and check? And of course, uh, <laughs> the best part about this is that when you go into the server, they tell you, make sure that you generate the amount of <laughs> 999,995. These guys just want you to blow up your whole entire computer or your Replit account and get it banned. But basically what it's going to start doing is generating. And what is it trying to do? It's trying to generate Discord Nitro gift links. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what it's trying to do. Now, once again, our James video talks about this a lot in pretty good detail. It just, it doesn't work, but these guys are still trying anyways. They basically just generate a whole bunch of random characters and they add it to a file, a list of nitro codes with air quotes, because these codes aren't even real. They're just randomly generated. Then what happens is once that file is completely written, they close the file and they open up the checker. So they open up the TXT file. Then they go through Discord's API and spam it on your behalf to check whether or not these gift links are actual gift links. If it is an actual gift link, so let's say you somehow magically do get the Discord Nitro gift link. Do you get it? <laughs> what are you, silly? What happens is that if the gift link is valid, it actually sends the gift link to this webhook I was talking about before. So the whole point of this program is to randomly brute force Discord Nitro codes. And if you somehow manage to brute force a Discord Nitro code, it will be sent to these guys where they will redeem it. I can't make any of this up. I wish I could make it up. The bow on top of this Christmas gift is please refrain from sharing this with your friends as this is a private method from Christmas rewards. So anyways, a little goofy, but I just want to make make it clear that doing this stuff isn't hard. And decoding this was extremely easy. It, it took me like 30 minutes and I had no idea what I was doing. But once I figured out those websites and just figured out what's going on, it's super easy to do. So if you ever run across any weird code and you just want to figure out how it works, try breaking it apart and deobfuscating it. Because remember, we went from literally the biggest piece of garbage code on the planet where it's V4C generator is the best <laughs> generator. <laughs> It gets even worse, their advertising. We went from this garbage that just had a whole bunch of random text into this actual functional code where I had webhooks that I could just say bye-bye to. They got, they went bye-bye. Anyways, I'm going to go bye-bye now because, of course, I got to go hang out with my family. It's like Boxing Day or something. What, am I going to go grow? Am I going to go shopping for electronics? Pfft, no, I don't go outside. Anyways, bye-bye. Love you. Mwah.